Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arco Studio. In this tutorial we will talk about exterior rendering setting for Enscape for SketchUp. So let's get to work. Best rendering setting depends on multi-type of factors. For example, beautiful objects like this beautiful car in here or some detailed building with all details and elements. But one of the important facts is about lighting and textures. As you can see, textures are completely done in here. And if I double click in this place, I can see these type of detail for my job. So it's really amazing. I'm going to press F on my keyboard and I'm going to click on the create view in here. And I'm going to go a little bit far from my shot. Something like that, for example. Something like this. And now I want to create some realistic render. So I'm going to start my job with holding my camera in some aspect ratio like this. And I'm going to turn the uh, pitch option from 18 to the uh, 18. And the yeah, is about 90. Or I can orbit my camera. So I'm going to click on the uh, orbiting. Move in some angle like this, for example. Something like that. And I'm going to change the pitch to the 19, the yeah, is about 53. I'm going to unlink this option in here. I'm going to uncheck the uh, sun position for Enscape. 28.6, 0.4, and the Z is about negative 71. So my camera name is camera 8, and I'm going to press create option in here. So I'm going to click on the camera 8 in this place and I'm going to click on the safe frame. So my safe frame is on the portrait mode and it's not really suitable for me. So I prefer to change it. So I'm going to click on the visual setting. How we can change the resolution in Enscape. I'm going to click on the output, change it to the full HD. Or I can click on the custom mode and add some custom resolution. For example, 9201. 6 something like that i'm going to click on the main bar and start my job from here so first of all the perspective of this render is awful so i'm going to change it to the two-point perspective now it's much better i'm going to click on the skybox change the sort from the white ground to the white cubes and you can see the result in here click on the main bar reduce the uh, field of view for more focusing but you can see the details when I focus, it will completely change the target of it. So it's really important which place your camera exactly take. Some number about 56 is good, but I'm going to click on the uh, F, edit my camera 8 in here and increase the pitch option a little bit to the 26. Now it's much better. So I'm going to click on the save option. I don't want to see the background, so I can use some tips and tricks. For example, I can click on this car in here, like that, select it, and move it on the uh, red axis, like this, to cover my background. Click on the apply changes, now it's much better. So everything is done in here right now, I'm going to click on the visual setting. Turn my render mode to the white mode because I want to detect my lighting. So I'm going to start my lighting. I'm going to hold shift and right click and change the time of the day. I need some time, for example, near to the uh, morning. Near to the morning, not exactly morning. Something like this is good. For example, 8. And if I hold Ctrl plus U and I, I can change the time of the day, shadows, and some other sorts of it. I think some type of angled light like this is really good. So sun angle from this side. I'm going to click on the visual set, turn it to the non mode, and continue my rendering. First of all, I'm going to turn off the outlines because in this type of rendering, we don't need outlines. I'm going to click on the uh, exposure, re-expose my screen manually, about 53 is enough. Depth of field is really important, so if I increase the depth of field, you can see some blurness in front of your image and render. So 
If you play with the focal point, you can see some shiny line in your landscape environment. I'm going to focus on my facade design in here. So 18.5 is really good and depth field is about 22. So I can reduce it to some number about 16. Rendering quality can be increased to the medium mode and you can see the change is very simple. So in the image bar, I'm going to reset my color temperature and I'm going to reset the saturation. Now you can see the changes. If I increase saturation a little bit, about 102 for example, and color temperature increase to the 6800 Kelvina, it's really nice and wonderful. I don't need any type of bloom or lens flare, so I'm going to turn off the bloom option and turn off the lens flare. Now we have some sharp render. So chromatic aberration is not really important. Atmosphere is related to your sun power. So if I decrease the sun power, you can see what's really happening in your render. So it completely depends on you. 11% or 80%. It completely depends on you. I prefer to use 50%. It's normal. So shadow sharpness can be reset. I need some smooth shadows. Night is kind of not really useful, but ambient brightness. Look at these terrace and balconies. When I reduce the ambient brightness, these places will be get darker. So if you increase it to some number about 66%, it will completely change very simple and easy. In the skybox, you can add some clouds like that. And I think it's really mesmerizing and wonderful. So I think some number about 20 seven percent is good variety is about six and if i increase the cyrus amount you can see what's really happen in your sky and it will completely get more realistic 41 percent is enough for the cyrus amount for the backgrounds in the white cubes as the hdri source look at this place in here when i play with the rotation tool I can cover it with some tall buildings. Now it's much realistic and I think it's done. So time for the rendering, but we have some problem in the objects and it's related to the people's position. So I'm going to click on the uh, asset library, pick up this woman in here, select it, click on the move option. And now I'm going to move it a little bit near to the uh, camera and near to this car. Now it's much realistic, something like that. I'm going to click on the apply changes. So it goes to the back side of the car. It's not really good. So I'm going to move it another time like that, like this. It takes a little bit of time because sometimes it can't detect the coordinates very well. Apply changes. So I think I need to adjust it by my hand from here to here. Apply changes. So everything is done. Time for the rendering. Press F. Camera 8 in here. And I'm going to close it. Increase the rendering quality to the ultra mode and time for rendering so i'm going to reduce the exposure to the 44 to make my render a little bit more realistic or maybe 47 and i'm going to click on the screenshot save it on my desktop the name is not really important and i'm going to click on the save option it takes a little bit of time and after that enscape will generate some super realistic exterior render for you in the sketchup very simple and easy if this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time, thanks for watching and goodbye.